Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. It's time to take on a retaliation mission. This one is rated difficult, which means we are going to fight a fair few guys. But I'm in a somewhat awkward position because we want to go on the Black Sight mission as soon as possible when we get back from this. So I have to leave a lot of my heavy hitters at home. We're going to bring three squaddies and then Danko and Ridzik, and hopefully we can get through this. Also, I was wondering about the upgrade to the infirmary last time. Uh, this is what it's for. You can revitalize a soldier, giving him back all of his will and hitch points, but it only lasts for that mission, and then they go back to where they were. And you can only do it one time for the entire campaign per soldier. So I don't know how much usefulness I'm going to get out of that, but that's all right. Advent's so-called peacekeepers are hitting one of the resistance camps in this area, and they're taking out civilians and fighters alike. We're deploying to protect as many people as we can. Secure the site and take out any hostile forces still threatening the area. One of those chosen is leading an assault on the resistance encampment in this area. Our people are doing what they can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. There's a group of resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. All right, so clearly we have one of the uh, new type of missions, uh, the new resistance. Uh, what do you call it? Retaliation. You know what I'm trying to say. Okay, do I have her? Yeah, okay. So, let's see. There's the group he's talking about. I think I'm pretty okay coming over here. Ten four. And see if we can find some trouble. Wow, nothing. Holy smokes. Well, then I'll come here. Rolling out. And okay. Danko. Do I want to come that far over? Yeah. Yeah, I'll come here. I'm a little worried about faceless, but you will never hide from me. Steer clear of those Okay, at least we finally found range, it. I mean, by close. it, I mean <laughs> the nearest pod. No, I was not looking for a berserker specifically. That's the first one we've seen in the campaign, right? Ah, uh, that's awkward. I don't really like those spots for him. Where is that berserker again? Where'd we see it? Over there. Okay. Um, yeah. You know, I could come here. No, I can't. All right, I'll come okay. here. We're, I, I don't actually understand what just happened. <laughs> the target is marked. The target is marked. They got me flanked! Oh, they're triggering the pod. I see. At least I think I see. That was a good shot, by the way. Okay. I'm a little worried about where that Viper is. Still, that could have gone much worse. Man, we have got to kill that Viper because, holy crap, is it in position to just ruin us. So... I think I definitely need to get over here and get some flanking shots. On the way. 
Yeah, so we are not concealed except for Danko. Which I kind of expected, to be fair. This is my number one priority. So let's... Wow. An excellent beginning to the mission, of course. I'm probably going to have to do this. I'm getting a little anxious. We may not kill this thing. Um... It's actually likely that we won't kill it. Oh boy. Yeah, I can't use the Claymore because I'll blow the truck. Oh, thank goodness. Woo! But he is revealed. Well, honestly, I kind of had to do what I had to do on that one. There's the sectoid. I don't really want to give the sectoid any more flanking shots than he's already got, although... Actually, he doesn't have any. Never mind. Um, at least not on my guys. I will come here and I can't actually do anything who would I give teamwork to Danko yeah he's he can't kill this guy so I think that's a waste Affirmative. Covering now. all right well on ooh, this was probably a bad move actually what about these guys Eh, I don't think he'll come over far enough to do anything. I'll just take my shot. The well, the RNG is not... <clears throat> excuse me. The RNG is not being kind so far. Did a little damage to the Berserker. I'll take it. 28 points. Man, that's a lot for us right now. Oh, these civilians. Oh, that's all he's going to do. Okay. Okay, so this was kind of our free turn. Next time, they're going to be out for blood. I'll tell you, it seems trivial, but this chipping away at the Berserker is, I think, going to be very helpful. Because we seriously need all of the help we can get, so... Okay, um, that's problematic, but let's save it for the moment. I probably need to do this. Granted, I don't think the Berserker can kill us right now. You know what I'm really tempted to do? Not that a grenade is like great shakes. But I could move forward and use a grenade to kill this guy, who's going to be very difficult to kill otherwise, and then do a little bit of damage to him. The big problem are some of these other guys. Uh, I mean, the Berserker. How am I killing him this turn? Seriously. 21 health is a lot for me. And I don't really want to leave the sectoid alive. I may just have to live with that. I figure... Let me see. I assume I can't hit both. I never can. Um, no. Nope. I think I'm two tiles short. Okay. So, stop screwing around. I could hit him almost for sure. Okay. Okay. I am going to do what I said a minute ago. I'm going to step up. 
Really don't want to get that close to the Berserker, I have to admit. Um, maybe I come here. Uh, that might not be close enough for the grenade. I think it is. It's definitely closer. There. Yeah. Okay. This is for you. Now, the other thing this should do is set up blood trail. So, not that that's a huge boost, but it is more damage. I mean, it is. So, you know, I'm willing to take it. I think I have to do this. Yeah, it's a shame I got minimum damage there. Okay, so how are we doing? He's still at 13. Um, yeah, man. What's your deal? 88%. Uh, even from over here. Did I not take Blade Master with him? I guess I must not have. So I might kill him. I probably wouldn't. I could come here and flank him and I would have, well, a 50% chance of killing him. So, you know, maybe I let the Sectoid do what he wants this turn. That's kind of a scary notion. But I could do it. I don't really want to pre-flank myself, though. All right. Rolling. I'm going to come here. We, I feel like we still have a chance to kill this guy. So, I would like to take it. Come on, Art. Okay. Done. So that's two of the three down. And, I mean, they're by far the two most dangerous. Now, unfortunately, he's my last guy left, or she. And um, there's very little chance of getting the kill. I would not only need to hit a 34% shot, I'd have to hit the 10% crit. Uh, maybe what I do, I'm going to come here. On That's going to make it move for one of its actions. And I'll just shoot it and soften it up with the pistol. So. To yeah. I mean, that's a sectoid. It lost its pod mates. It's wounded. It's flanked. He doesn't want to stick around for that. There's a large group of I love these resistance the guys. I really do. Like, are in fast. I just think it's we so cool that the they don't sit there people. letting people slaughter them. They do fight back. So I really don't know. Let me come up here. All right. I was pretty anxious we could reveal another pod. But that didn't happen. All right. The resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. I mean, that's actually pretty darn cool. The Berserker is no joke. I mean, at our level, you know, <laughs> three squaddies out of five soldiers. That's kind of scary. Understood. And we didn't take any wounds or anything in that part of the fight. I mean, phew. Yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with how that whole thing went down. Uh, I'm going to reload him, and I think I'm going to go back in shadow. I was born in the shadows. And then I'm just going to start now. grouping up a little bit. And Art's way back. Um, bring Let's him go. here. 
Okay. Um, obviously, he's kind of my go-to scout. Question is, which well? The next resistance group is this way, so... I guess that answers the question about which direction I want to oh, go. Yeah. That's also the direction the sectoid was heading, and you know he was going to another pod. We also know they're firing at somebody, so... Ooh, I think I just saw another Berserker. Well, that's not a Berserker. I think that was a Lancer, but boy, they're chewing him up. Oh my god, that's awesome. Actually, I don't think it's a Lancer. I think it's a, like, next level trooper. Wow, good job, guys. Yeah, advanced trooper. Oh, it was a Mac. Okay. So I think what happens, those pods aren't activating because we aren't over there. I mean, I wouldn't get experience for it, but part of me is almost tempted to just okay. leave them alone to take care of the business, you know? Now, why on earth am I so dumb that I'm leading with these people who aren't concealed I go when I have Ganko? That's not particularly intelligent, is it? All right, let's get up there. I will always find you. Oh. You know, I didn't see that coming. I don't know why. I guess because he's concealed. There was a berserker. Well, that's good news. Well, this could get awkward, actually. So this is the best she's going to be able to do. All right. I mean, at least I did the three. I mean, we're going to take the shots, man. I hope for the best. Okay, that's 8 damage out of 12. So, I mean, with luck, we can get there. She is the least useful in this situation. So, let's see. All right, Isabel. Don't let me down. All right, well, that was huge. Because that was, like, guaranteed damage. Um... The bad thing is he's way too close and way too flankable. I'm going to move uh, her here. I'm all over it. That's a spot that's visible to them. And at least I have some protection. I can only hope they go. Oh, Lord. Really? Well... This health pool uh, fighting us is just too big, man. Commander, Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in We're in trouble. Ah. Uh, All right. Well, maybe we're not in trouble because they seem to just be completely ignoring us. Go for the berserker. Go for the berserker. You'll actually hurt the berserker. So they're just moving and reloading. Uh, at least... Oh my god, there's another pod? Ooh. Well, this is big trouble for us. There's too many guys with too much health. All right in the same area. I'm very concerned about this. Well, um... I'm not going to take this shot. I'm not going to kill him. And that stupid armor is just ridiculously tough. Art doesn't have a good shot. I may have to move him up this turn. This is a good shot. Why don't I do that? Oh man, that stupid mech. I'm going to reload and just take the shot. I don't know if this is smart though. 
Should I should I try to take out one of the mechs? Honestly, they're probably more dangerous. Ah, man, why did you have to get the bare minimum damage? Ugh. That's not good. It's <laughs> really, really not good. All right, at least that's one down. I wish I'd have shot with her first, but I mean, you know, that's the kind of hindsight that doesn't really ever do you any good. Okay, well, honestly, getting rid of that mech does help. I feel like I probably need to pull him back a little bit. Um, oh my gosh. What if I moved Art like here, gave him a better line of sight on everybody and he wouldn't have, doesn't, isn't he getting a big penalty? Yeah, cause he's firing so far away through squad sight. It's great you can see him and all, but he's not high level. He doesn't really have the aim to support, you know, a penalty like that. So, there's, let's think. Um, I could, no, I'm not close enough to do the Claymore. And wasn't there a soldier back here? I guess I could move like here. I don't really want to. I'm going to pull him back. I don't want him to just get wrecked. So we're just going to take a shot. This isn't going to be the most high impact thing we could ever do. But it's a start. And I think I'm just going to do the same thing here. Let her take a decent shot. So we're chipping away at this thing. The time for hiding is this is crazy how many of these pods are all activating at once. I don't know if we're going to live through this. I really don't. And I don't know that we're going to succeed in the mission either, because this is just nuts. No place for you to go now. Yeah, this is what scared me. Yeah. Shred. <sighs> Man. And if only those berserkers would attack each other. Go berserk like they're supposed to. So Art's cover is gone. Thanks to that grenade. Well, I know who my number one target is. Let me reload. We're green to go. And I don't think I want to use her grenade on this guy. Ooh, although I could miss. I'm going to take the chance. I want the damage if I can possibly get it. She doesn't have shred, you idiot. She's just a squatty. All right, well, we're going to kill it anyway. But that was a pretty bad mistake. All right, so that's the last of the grenade throwers done. I could come over here. Yeah, you know what? I got an idea. I know where you are. 
Oh, he's got cover. I actually didn't see that, but that's all right. Only three. That's not great, but I'm not done. So Art is going to use one of his actions to give him teamwork. Now, I'm going to shoot again, and if I hit, it's a kill. There you go, because of blood trail. So, I'm out of rounds. which one am I hitting? Good, the wounded one. Yep, I'm just going to take the shot. Not bad. What is he down to? 11? Art can only see the one guy. All right, I'm not leaving him out with no cover for that. Heading out. Oh man, these poor civilians. It's just going to be a real challenge trying to keep anybody alive. But one thing I do notice, like that one Mac grenade is like the only time in two of these type of missions that we were attacked instead of the resistance guys like they just always go after them which is good from the standpoint of keeping our guys healthy but it's obviously pretty rough on uh, the, the people we're trying to save i just can't get over three berserkers and all these other guys all going active on us at once. I mean, wow, like a health pool of well over a hundred was in play, you know, when we started this. And uh, again, at our level and equipment and everything, God, that's just crazy. So Art can't see. Oh, I get it. Well, what if I did this? I think I will. Let's try to open up some sight lines. And I might as well, you know. Oh, I should have reloaded them first. Idiot. Oh, that was so bad. Yep, absolutely. Reload first, though. Locked and loaded. We might even kill this guy finally. Nope. <laughs> Wishful thinking. So she can't see him. Um, I could move closer. I'm not sure this actually helps though. Don't think I want to stand behind the propane tank. I'll come here. Okay. There's no grenades left in play as far as I know. Wow, she still can't see that guy. You gotta be kidding me with that crap. I'm pretty sure this is hitting both. Oh my god. Hold on. Uh, it's not, is it? This is not going to do it. I think I'm one tile short. Let's see, if it was there, all right. I think it's one tile short. Um, so rather than use a grenade to do two damage, well, let me do this, you reload. I need to reload. And maybe what I do is I bring him up here. I don't know if he has a good sight line. That's the problem. You know, he definitely doesn't have anything like uh, squad sight, so it's probably not great. All right, let's just take this shot. All right, good. So that's one down. Target neutralized. Man, it's crazy. And he's got increased mobility, you know, which is just what I was hoping to see. <laughs> I 
Okay. Well, I mean, we're hitting them as hard as we can. One is down. One is half dead. There's still that Lancer over there. But, man, oh, man. This is tough. It, it really is. Uh, we feel very underpowered here. You know, I don't have a bunch of kernels with plasma weapons. We're really having to chip away. And I'm feeling it. And every time one of these poor civilians gets smashed, I just feel so bad. Like, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to save you. I really am. The resistance continues to do good work, though. This guy was at 14 health. You know, he's at four now. So they've taken 10 points of his health just uh, since, you know, they started. So that's pretty darn good. All right. Well, this is the only shot Art has. I don't see myself using a grenade or anything. So let's just do this. I would much rather focus my fire, you know, on the guy that we have a chance to kill, namely this one. So hopefully she can just finish it. No, nope, she missed. 89%. I'm definitely having some rough luck here. Um, hmm. Unfortunately, I need to move somewhere where I can see it. Uh, but there's a Lancer over this way somewhere, and I would prefer not to die. Uh, this thing, if I come here, can rush me too. All right, I tell you what, I'll come here. Moving to position. Hopefully, this will give me what I need. And I missed again. Wow. Uh, this is starting to get a little ugly for me. I okay, I tell you what. They're pretty close together. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the Claymore. Yep, it covers them the both. And then I'll just shoot it. I'm pretty sure. Actually, it may not hit them. Yeah, no, it did. Okay. And he's enraged. Whatever. I don't really care. Yeah, I'll just use the pistol. Whoo, man. Oh, you're kidding me. Well, I guess it was inevitable. We hadn't lost anybody yet. Um, it is sad to me to lose our Reaper. I quite liked that character and the design and everything. Um, he was one of my old movie, um, you know, buddy cop movie guys too. Um, but he died. I think what happened is the Berserker ran out of civilians nearby. And so he turned his attention to us. It's also kind of anticlimactic that the resistance guys ended up shooting him. So we didn't even get revenge, you know, or to avenge him. They did it instead. Um, I don't know. Taking a photo. I guess I'm not really into it. Uh, I'm just going to continue. Yeah, that's that's a shame on multiple levels because now I'll have to recruit a new Reaper and start over, you know, at Squatty or whatever. Uh, but we did our best. Uh, that was just a really, really difficult position to be in with so many Berserkers. I must have missed it. There was that uh, Sun Lancer. And at least I believe it was a Lancer. Anyway, uh, apparently the Resistance killed it because I thought he was still rattling around in that one building. But, uh, wow. So, 
Poor Art. I mean, he lost his bond mate, uh, Ridzik, and then also got severely wounded. And <laughs> so, bad day. Bad day for him. I'll go ahead. We'll stick with the Blade Master plan for people. He did get promoted. I guess that's something. So I'll take that. And uh, that's it. The others came up empty. Yeah, there was a Lancer. So I guess he's the one, the other one, the Resistance killed. They actually did some amazing work on that mission. Hello, Commander. Not enough to save poor Ivan Danko. So is there anything in here for that? We've done what we can to honor our fallen soldiers, Commander. It's not much, but it gives our people a chance to pay their respects. You probably noticed we don't have a lot of music here on the old Resistance radio. In fact, we don't have any music, per se. It's not that I wouldn't love to rock the airwaves with some classic human death metal, but Advent's pretty much got all the good stuff locked down these days. Suppose I could hum a few bars. I just wanted to let that finish. So I think this is Denko's portrait, and then all these others are empty because he's the only one. From what I've seen, you could use the practice. Thirteen kills, seven missions. Yeah. Oh well. <sighs> no. So I have no idea how to recruit a replacement. I'll be honest. Um, can we, there's Reaper HQ. I'm just going to go there. Oh, that's convenient. We're close. Will I get any? No, you just scan for Intel. Our actions have succeeded and the elders grow fearful. Okay. Well, that's good. At least we definitely want to assign a new covert action. Uh, but for this one, even though I really want to, you know, do something, how can I say, good? <laughs> um, I need something where we can just throw a low-level soldier in there, like this. Because uh, I need to bring our heavy hitters on this next mission. We're going to go to, um, what's it called? The Black Site. So... Let's uh, let's see. Maybe a facility lead. No, I need a sergeant. So something like this. Uh, but I don't mind. I've already got medium influence with the Reapers, and I wouldn't mind building that even more. Try to get that second slot. Because where am I with the skirmish? Oh, I see. I'm also at medium. So they're the ones I'm worst with. Well, maybe that's what I should do then. Gain ability points. We could use those for sure. All right. I tell you what. Let's grab a low-level ranger. And we'll try to give him the mobility. Ooh. Actually, I won't even worry about negating the risk. I can live with it if these guys um, are on the shelf for a little bit. So I'll just do that. I don't want to give up. I, I need my intel right now. All right, and then hopefully we'll get to have a card active with him. What do they call him? Resistance orders. What does the upgrade do here? Unlocks an additional slot for XCOM to assign resistance orders. Interesting. So that's that wild card slot. I'm not going to do that right now. I don't have enough power, but I need to remember that. That's interesting. It really is. I kind of like these upgrades on the new facilities. It's a little different than what they used to do, where it was just like, uh, hang on a second. I need to scan somewhere for one day. I was born of the elders of Fine, I'll just do this. Okay, got it. So we got Predator Armor, we got the new Tempest Gauntlets, all of that. Our inspiration did prove beneficial. Commander, with the Advent officer currently in cold storage, Ooh. we should perform the autopsy as soon as possible. 
Oh boy. I'll. Uh, okay. I haven't really been that, you know, excited about so called breakthrough research. Inspiration, yes, if it applied to something I wanted to do very, very soon anyway. Oh, but all we have left are those deep levels in the Avenger. Oh, wait, it'll allow the next excavation project to complete completed instantly. Never mind then. That's not good enough. We're going to do this. Though I was never witness to one myself, countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. The sectoid's rapid physical evolution over the past 20 years is a testament to both the aliens' mastery of genetic engineering and their pursuit of advancement, regardless of the risks. Well, I need the proving ground for most of these autopsies, if not all of them, to mean anything. So that's not really a thing for me right now. Uh, I think what I should do is go ahead and unlock this. I certainly the have Advent not been quick. Be similar, if not physically the same as the common Advent Trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate Advent forces. Okay, let's go to engineering. Disconcerting. The elders attempt at humanizing our enemy will make it all the more difficult for our troops to face them in battle. New orders, commander? I have enough faceless now. <laughs> I'm back, baby. I'm back. I got a mimic beacon. Uh, we're going to do this. Named Predator Armor should give our soldiers increased longevity in the field. That kills me. Poor Danko. Like, if he'd had the Predator Armor, that wouldn't have killed him. He was just one mission away. <sighs> That's rough, man. That is rough. So, I have just enough alloys to upgrade one of these, you know lighter weapons whatever you want to call them uh so here's what i'm going to do when we come back i am going to go to the black site and what i need to do is figure out what squad we're going to bring as you can see even without danko you know we have at least a number of sergeants and even a couple of lieutenants to, to choose from so i'll try to figure out what kind of squad we need and when we come back, we'll go to the black site and try to get off the doom clock. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.